Hello and welcome to this Rolly Equator 2 tutorial. In this video we're going to take a look at routing in Equator 2. Routing is highly flexible and as such has its own dedicated tab which shows the routing possibilities for each source, the filters, filter configuration, ring mod bus and levels for the three VCA buses. The basic concept is simple. Go to a source or filter and adjust the amount of signal going to a particular destination. The filter configuration dictates how audio passes between the two filters. For example, in serial mode, audio passes directly from filter 1 to filter 2. Because of this, the amount controls on each source for filter 2 are greyed out. If we choose parallel, they become available again. So, Sounds start with any of the six sound sources. These can be routed to either filter 1, filter 2 or bypass the filters and go straight to any of the three master VCAs FX1, FX2 or DRY. You can route to any of these five destinations in any amount. The three VCAs are so called because of the way they are routed to the effects. With the effects configuration in mixed or parallel mode, this provides a huge amount of flexibility in the way that effects are used. The dry VCA can be used to bypass the effects altogether. These VCAs are, by default, assigned to the amplitude envelope, but can be reassigned to any modulation source. To give an example, here is a patch which uses the effects in parallel mode. The FX1 row has some EQ and a little chorus. The FX2 row has a reverb effect. If we look at the synth page, we see that there are four sources and two filters being used. The routing page shows us that the filters are in serial mode. Each source is routed to filter 1 and the output of the filters is routed to FX1. Currently, if I play this sound, you'll hear no reverb because there is nothing routed to effects 2. If I route the output of the filters to effects 2, you'll hear the reverb. Note that the amplitude envelope is routed to both FX1 and FX2 master VCAs. You may be wondering about the fourth source, which appears to be routed nowhere. If I increase macro 3 here, you'll see that the amount going to FX2, the reverb, is also increased. This bypasses the filters and sends the layer directly to the effects. I hope that's given you a good idea of how routing works in Equator 2. That's it for this video, join me soon for the next one.